Hey everyone, welcome back to Artwork Gaming. I'm Tony here, and today we're back with all our uh, gameplay of Albania in Europa Universalis 4. As you can tell, I do have a slight cold, and I'm very sorry everyone that I ended up taking a hiatus in a certain way. Uh, I had to leave the country for a couple of weeks, uh, mostly due to Christmas break, but I'm actually finally back, and I've I've been going crazy not having any videos going, and I feel so bad about that, guys. Um, I try to keep videos going. Uh, I have been trying to schedule videos, but I just ran out of them. I'm very new, so I didn't exactly have a big store of them. But anyway, enough about the um, the channel. If you want to check out more about the channel and what's going to be going on, be sure to check out one of our uh, uh, weekly, uh, or bi-weekly. I think I'm going to do them every two weeks. I'm going to start putting up uh, videos, uh, vlogs pretty much, so you guys can keep an idea of what's going on with the channel, what's going on with me. And I think that'll be good, and I think that'll keep you guys sort of up to date. That way I don't have to waste like a whole minute of an actual gameplay video. But anyway, we are back with Albania, and we left off de deciding on what our uh, idea should be, and we ended up picking offensive. The offensive ideas are going to be great because we do have a small army. We do have a, a well, not too, too small income but not as high as I would like it to be. Um, we do have a lot of castles, so that means a lot of paying in the middle of a war. We do have uh, Lithuania as our ally. Oh, that's right. Welcome to, uh, I think it's version point 14. The Cossack, Cossacks have joined the game. Pretty much, this changes the game in so many ways. This came out at the beginning of December, and I was so pumped about it, and I wish I could have told you guys about it, but it's an old gameplay. It's, this was made in 1.13, so I can't really do that. Estates are locked for me, as well as uh, most things. A few things are available, obviously. The uh, the attitude, for example. It's not going to let me. Wait, wait, back, right, back. So I might have created back. Yeah, no, I can still do province of interest, which is pretty cool. Um, I would like Ferrara. I want you. I could... Ask for Venice. What do you have a truce with? Ottoman, Ottomans, Fasan, Mamluks, Romaza, Naxos, Papals, and Milan. Which means that Austria and I could roll in. Uh huh. But could we? Could we really? Uh, diplomatic options. I can't. I don't have a diplomat. They're all out. So I'm just going to speed it up. Okay. Declare war. Austria does not owe Albania at least 10 favors. That's right. We do have to deal with this. Oh, good God. Okay, so the favors are pretty much... Uh, we help them, and they'll help us back, and vice versa. And since they just helped us with Bosnia, uh, they pretty much are thinking that they don't owe us anything, which they should, because, you know, we're amazing and we're Albania. But you're allies with Rook. Okay, you're not an option. You... What are you? Why do you have so many allies? How? The Knights and Bavaria. Milan could be doable. And for those of you that don't remember how Bavaria looked before, it looked like a grayish blob. Now it's actually a pretty blue. I like that. I like that. But it's different from France, so you don't confuse it if it does end up blobbing like crazy and taking over. Anyway, <laughs> hmm. what to do, what to do. We d I did talk about taking over Naples. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, talk about taking Naples. Thing is, Portugal will join, Brittany will join, Aragon will join. Aragon being your master, pretty much. Leading vassals, so that's a struggle. <sighs> okay. Towards Naples, I don't care. Towards Austria, we're going to set our manage at it. No way. Oh, I think we're already like. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can't change it with everyone else except my allies. That's odd. Um, so, for example, you have a burning passion against us, hostile. So, let's make you towards your rivals. Okay, well, that makes my life easy. Athens likes us. That's, that's a bonus. Is that part of the Ottomans? Okay. I have no idea what to do, guys. Um, we could start training up more troops, which I may just do. Uh, 58... 74, 71. Yeah, there we go. Three troops. Should keep a standing army, sort of. Uh, I did say last episode also that we would go ahead and invest a point into our military here. So that we could boost our gold mine. And now we make... 
Oh, is it gonna update? I don't know, it'll update later. Um, let's slow down. Ferrara and Venice, they hold province that are ours. Cheers. I don't know what I want to do now to expand. We could push Wallachia to become our, like, vassal. Actually, we can't. They're still too big. I can't fight the Papal State because... Actually... Okay, yeah. The problem with the fighting the Papal State is that everyone loves the Papal State because they're all Catholic. So that's going to be tough. What about... Venice. Let's say we fight Venice. The Knights and Aragon. So I'm going to fight Naples anyway if I go against Venice. But if I go against Naples... Ugh, Venice won't join. Portugal and Brittany would. You just don't care. What if we go against... <clears throat> I need to take Laika. That's the problem here. If I want to push into Venice, I need Laika. Otherwise, we're going to be split in half. And the other way to get troops from here to here is going to be through boats. And we talked about this at the very beginning. Boats are not a way for me to do. Because Ottomans are too powerful in their boats. As well as Aragon, Castile, Portugal. They would wreck me with boats. So... What to do, what to do, what to do. What do I like, Hungary? I'll enemy of enemy. They are allied to my rival, which is... Florence, I think? Ooh, what if we declare war on... No, no, too many allies. Hmm. I really don't know how to expand, because... On one front, we have godforsaken Ottomans. In the other front, we have a big blob of Albania. And across the sea, we have Naples. And Naples is too powerful for me right now. We could begin pushing for France. You're allied to Hungary. Never mind. Every plan I keep coming up with just gets shot down. And I do not appreciate that. Aragon kind of likes me. As well as... Castile is... Like, yeah. You're the same religion. Boost. They're allied with Portugal and Savoy. So they could be a very good ally. But then again, so could England. Problem with England is that they'll fight France for most of the game. Until one of them prevails. Um, I see they're still struggling. Munster pretty much took over the little Irish island. And England's going to have a problem with that. Scotland still exists somehow. Sweden blobbed. Oh, good God, yes they did. They like me, so that's something. 14. Out of 73. England is way too far off. Already have a powerful ally. Let me guess, you two? No. Hmm. No, I think 89 is too high. Oh, crap. What about Poland? Poland, I don't think they want to be. Yeah. So I could push for Sweden, and Sweden would be one heck of an ally. Uh, how many allies do we currently have? Let's see, my country. Four out of four. Bohemia, Austria, Lithuania, and Wallachia. Where's Bohemia? Oh, Bohemia. Hmm. We could do it and lose a Diplo point, which you don't really use. Okay, I'm going to start pushing for it. As far as uh, what the other diplomat's gonna do, I'm gonna push. You already love us. You love me, sort of. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna improve relations. And I'm just gonna speed it up. I do have to keep an eye out for the stupid rebel rebels. So I say rebellion, but I pause that way. Uh, if this reaches 90, we're gonna have issues. It's gonna be expensive. Uh, I may have to do it. Okay, plan B. Where is the biggest hum? Okay, we got hum. Pretty much I'm just hoping that it doesn't go up anytime soon. If it goes to 90, then I have to throw in uh, 60 points from our... Whoa, okay. All of you go to hum. Hum is now putting out still 4.3. Why? Oh, it's a 3.8 now, so it's slowly decreasing. I could grant you autonomy. 
Hum and Dungey Kraji. I may just have to do it. I'm not at a position right now to fight off any form of rebellions. Uh, go to Bosnia. What else? Visoki is sort of being butts about it too, so we'll send a small army to Visoki in a moment. In a minute. Go to Visoki. I don't know why it's not updating. Did I not just grant you? Yeah, you're not even boosting it anymore. Okay, why? Explain. Dungey Kraji, it still says. That's really weird that's not updating. It's probably because this is an old save, so the game doesn't know what to do. Yeah, that makes sense. Croatian Separatist, Dalmatia is fine, good. I don't know what to do about this. Um, It's going to take two and a half years to pretty much start. So I think we're fine. This will slowly go down, which is good. Yeah, it's not that bad. Uh, what else? I think we we'll just speed it up now. Just let it happen, see what happens. We are paying a good amount of money. If I were to boost our friggin' army, oh, it's not too bad. It would be expensive, but doable. Manageable. <sighs> our inflation is not stopping anytime soon, which is... So to slow down our inflation. I don't want to spend admin points. They're too valuable. Ooh, we do have estates. I wasn't showing it earlier. Okay, well, since we do have it, I'm going to go ahead and explain it now. For those of you that haven't seen any Cossacks videos, which has been awesome, um, we pretty much have to deal with the three estates that are known to in the game. So it would be the Brookies, which are the powerful, or just the normal people, I believe. The influence of the other No, who are the Brigies? Burgers, sorry. This is state. This is the urban population of your country. So it's people, church, rich people. That's pretty much what there is. And I believe if their uh, influence goes too high, we're going to have issues. If it reaches 80, so we're, we're pretty far off. Lose fire prestige. We do get a bunch of bonuses, which may just be worth it. Uh, demand administrative support, getting in 50 admin points, you lose 15 loyalty. I could pay them to get their loyalty up. Seek support, which would decrease my legitimacy as well as our prestige. So I'm going to give you some money. And then I'm going to boost also your... There we go. So boost our stability cost when a fire as well as our papal influence. Hmm, could be worse. Grant monopoly charters, which would influence them. Not enough, but it, it'll get them happy. Ooh, raise levies, gain skill 2 diplomat, 50% cheaper, they would lose 15 influence, demand military support, they would lose 15 loyalty, but we do get 100 military points, so that could definitely be useful. Gain a general with forge tradition, ooh, that could be useful, but I'm going to go ahead and push for the minister because their influence is getting a bit high. Oh, God, it increased it. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, crap. How do I decrease that? How do I decrease your influence? Crap, oh, crap. Do I just wait for it to go down? Uh, sorry. I hate having a cold. I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. Oh, God, I did not mean to do that. But each one, uh, if you get their loyalty to 60 or above, they, you start getting more bonuses. I think the other one is 20 or 30. From 20 and 30, or 30 and up, you get the first bonus, which for each one is trade efficiency, national tax, and manpower recovery speed. And then if you get them to 60 or above, you do start getting more bonuses, which is always great. And welcomed. I don't know, I may have to train more units because we really are kind of weak. Uh, 58, 70. There we go. I'm actually pretty happy that most things are working out in the game. I was hoping that we wouldn't have issues because this game is technically a uh, old version save. Well, each of you use Nigbolu as a province of strategic utility, and this is a vital interest. What's the difference? Hmm. Odd. Hmm. Anyway, what about. Nope, they don't know us anything. How do I make them owe something? Mm, odd. Or 
Okay, well, how do I change my own? Like, where's Roan? Oh, I don't want that. Um, why are these yellow? Albania views this as a preference of strategic utility. How do I change it? I don't want it to be a strategic utility. Okay, kind of. I kind of do because it is Venice and it is Ferrara, but. Uh, let's see if I can do. Let's just set most of your provinces as strategic, strategic, and then some of Hungary as well, and then Naples. All of Naples. I'm just gonna call all of Naples mine because I can. Albania has no interest in Corfu. Let's keep it that way. We could wage a war against the Papal State, and I'm kind of debating on this because they only have one ally. They do like me, so that would not be too, too good. How are we doing? Constantinople, transfer zero to Ragusa. What the heck, really? Why are you there, then? Can I move you to the other trade node? Uh, we do get the bonus I think because you're standing there not doing anything 0.70 yeah I definitely want to get more money Austria and Albania are getting way more than we are which is annoying me what's this ups and merchant okay so that's also why we have such a low trade right now um there we go so let's switch our trader over to here if see if he does anything Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Still transferring. Oh, I meant to transfer, transfer, transfer. Okay, there we go. Yep, still not doing it. Um, so I'm just gonna send you back to Constantinople. I really, really, really want Con Constantinople because this is a very profitable, profitable and powerful. Uh, province. Oh god, but to do that we would have to fight <sighs> Byzantium, which doesn't really like us. And to really get there, we would have to use boats, because they are not going to be giving us access anytime soon. At all. Did we get the guy? Tax, unknown rest. No, no. You can leave, you can leave. Recall, national rest, ability, production, this is expensive. I'm going to do this one more time. After that, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm waiting for our guy to come back. I'm sorry this has been such a boring video so far, guys, but I'm just trying to get back in a hold of the game. Uh, trying to remember what changed and what didn't. Yay, production, or yearly inflation reduction. Sweet. It's still going crazy up, but not as much now. So let's get you each. One here. One there. Let's train up another unit. Okay, so they are still very unhappy. Dalmatia is not even unrestful, but whatever game. Just going to harsh, tre harsh treatment, I guess. Damn, that was a waste of points. Because it's weird. Donji Kraji still says that it's got a 4.6, and it really doesn't, which is annoying me, but... Oh well, what can you do? How's our military tradition? Not too bad, it does decrease a lot. Venice has announced me as a rival, great. Byzantium has announced me as a rival, okay. Why am I not afraid? Province history, ooh. Yeah, many things have changed. Welcome to the Cossacks. Oh yeah, we still have a lot of heathenous provinces. So, that's something we have to work on. Poor little minister, or missionary. <sighs> See, it went down. I just saw it go down. I'm pretty sure it went up to 70 and then it went down. I definitely saw that. Nonetheless, we still have nothing to do, and I feel bad that I'm boring you guys probably with this video. Uh, wasted so much money trying to get the right um, 
the right, what's it called? Gain five legitimacy or ten prestige? Legitimacy, please. Getting the right, uh, Master of Mint, uh, Counselor, I think they're called. Okay, here's what I'm really worried about. Our amazing 555, uh, Skanderberg is gonna die soon. We're already at 50 years old. And that's already a miracle in and of itself for this game. People die way too quickly, in my opinion. Which makes sense, so... But you need to go. We need to replace you. I mean, you cannot go. We cannot replace you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't leave, Skanderbrook. I love you. He is the reason why we have survived so many wars. And without him, we are in big trouble. And we can't really declare war on anyone. Unless we're about to fight the Papal States, which would probably be suicide. Since we would have to go in on our own. Is it the Papal States? JJKPA. The Papal States. They have 5,000 units of a maximum of 15. Probably number one. And Lorraine has... Where's Lorraine? I have to check that. Liege, Lithuania, Lorraine has an extra 10,000 units at their command. They are far away, so that's always a bonus. Where are you, Lorraine? Okay. It would be a risk fighting the Papal States. Chances are people will get pissed off at me. So what I could do is to promise something to... How do I promise you land? How do I promise you land? Hmm. Okay, well we how do I give you promise of land if we go to war? I don't know, I may have to look this up for the next episode, but I'm gonna go ahead and start creating a claim, covert, fabricate, which one is the most, uh, do I really not have that? Oh yeah, this also changed the little map mode, economic, buildings, manpower, local autonomy, trade goods, trade value. Oh good god. Wait, so these are trade, not actual economic. Huh, it's weird. Where's the economic then? Trade goods? No. That's so weird. Where did it go? Like, there used to be one where I could see the economic of each. What the heck? Where did it go? Or am I overlooking something? It's got to be an economic. Development? No. Trade? No. Manpower? No. Local? No. Colonial? Trade? Trade. I don't know. That's the blue are all the gold provinces in the game are in Europe. Which are a good amount of them. Under Bohemia, under Hungary, under Austria and Castile, and as well one for ours. Okay, yeah, whatever. I don't need this map mode anyway. More important things in the game. Like, how the heck do I promise an ally land? I don't know. I'm just going to have to look it up uh, for the next video, I guess. So just start. Sure. Uh, what else? I don't want to invest because it's kind of useless. The next level will give us artillery, which is expensive, but it is very useful, especially for sieges. Hmm. What I could do, I don't know. I really don't know what to do. So if you guys have any ideas on what I should do, what I could do here, I definitely appreciate them. But we have reached a 25 minute mark, or we're about to, so we're going to have to call it here for this episode. I will get back into the fray of making videos in the weekly for a different series. I am looking into starting up a series of Evil Line because we have ended our RimWorld series and I could keep the Evil Line as an ongoing, probably for the long run sort of series because I did start up a new character. And I am very new in so many things with that game, so 
If you haven't played it before, it's definitely an awesome game, and I recommend you look into it. If you have played it and you quit, it's fine. Many people have taken hiatus from the game, usually after a year. And, well, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and see you guys in the next episode. Have a good day.